Bushcraft 412, and I just got done with my review on the UTG Tactical Op 1 bipod, and I wanted to show kind of the the alternative. Um, this is, I believe, it's also a UTG. I've had this for quite a few years now. This is a one of the clamp-on bipods. Uh, if you don't have Weaver or Picatinny or even a swivel stud on the bottom of your gun, this is the option that a lot of people are kind of forced into. And I use this on a couple of my guns. It's not my my favorite piece of gear on earth, but I wanted to show it as the alternative because, you know, I really, you know, if you haven't watched the review on the UTG bipod, check it out because it's really a cool piece of gear for 20 bucks. Now, I got this one for probably 15 so only a $5 difference. And the quality difference between this and the UTG uh, tactical bipod is tremendous for $5. But nonetheless... I wanted to show the differences and, you know, and show this because, you know, like I said, not everybody has Picatinny or whatever and they're kind of forced into this option right here. So, let's get in with it. Uh, this one, of course, is a clamp-on bipod. Uh, these are typically not well liked amongst a lot of gun people because the uh, clamp-on section can mar up the finish on your gun. And that worries a lot of people, but what I do typically to prevent that from happening is I have a, a lot of uh, ripped up t-shirt strips in my range bag for cleaning and whatnot. And what I'll do is take a little piece of the t-shirt and put it in there, a little bit of the t-shirt and put it in there, or even just wrap the little bit of t-shirt around the gun and then, you know, lock it in place and then tighten the... Uh, the uh, thing here on the barrel so that way you're not getting metal on metal contact with the barrel and you're not marring up your finish. Um, I did see someone else at the range who was using like a little piece of foam that he cut and that let him really torque down on it you know because the foam compressed nice and it got it really nice and stable but stability on these is not the greatest because most barrels are well, I was sort of like tapered, you know, they're, they're fatter at one end and get thinner. So if your barrel has a pretty strong taper to it near the end, near the crown, sometimes, you know, of course, it'll be really tight here, but then loose here, you know, and a piece of foam can increase your friction and make it more stable, let alone, you know, just keep you from marring up your gun. So one little tip there. This one is not spring loaded like the other UTG. You just push these little buttons down and it brings the zoom that out and it brings the uh, the legs down this one of course is a little longer the UTG is a 68 inch this is already 8 inches and then you get a couple extra inches out of that um, but of course I don't like it much because even when you tighten it down there's a tiny bit of wiggle to it so not a fan plus you know you can put it part way just like the UTG as well but, you know, I tend to keep this only in this configuration because that's the most stable. Now, while you're, of course, hopefully you can see this, when you have this clamped down, we're going to zoom this in. Hopefully you guys can see this. But when you have this clamped down on the gun, if we focus. Oh, we had it. Focus. We're not going to focus. Sorry, guys. There is just a little bit of wiggle. You, okay, you can see it there. In the joint, that joint wiggles quite a little bit. So if you're using this at the range for precision shooting, it's, it's not going to cut it. Versus that UTG, the tactical one, that's spring-loaded. Man, that thing just, you know, is rock solid. So... This right here, I use this, like I said, I use this quite a bit on uh, some of my 22s. I use it on uh, a couple guns. There's a, there's a good three or four different guns I use this on. Uh, the size is not the biggest, so it's not like you can put this on a shotgun or larger rifles. Um, it's kind of limited to the smaller calibers. It will fit on my 30 6 It will fit on my Saiga, but like the 30 6 is, is my Savage 30 6 is too accurate a gun for this. This just, you know, 
won't cut it for that, especially shooting out beyond 100 yards. But for a 22 shooting it, 25, 50 yards, these are actually very nice. Um, keep your gun accurate enough for that. But it's not, like I said, it's not something you're going to be competition shooting with. Just a fun little item, quick clamp on barrel. And it's your alternative if you don't have a sling stud or a Picatinny on your gun. So, it's not as impressive, guys. I know, it's kind of, you know kind of crummy especially you know like I, you know you go to the range and you spend a day using that that nice utg one and then you come back and you look at this and you're like eh. <laughs> you know it's kind of but you know i've used this thing for quite a few years and it's just a range toy for me it's not something i use for hunting or anything like that i have a better uh you know like a stand-up bipod for hunting which i might have to do a review of someday but for on a table at the range cool little item 15 bucks but, you know, if you do have a sling stud, if you do have Weaver Picatinny, I highly recommend just spending the extra five bucks and getting the, the UTG Tactical or maybe even something better than that if you got the cash. Um, neat little items. But I, just, I had to show the alternative because I know people are always going to say, you know, you make a video and someone's going to say, well, geez, I don't have Picatinny or a sling stud. What, what kind of mount do you recommend? So I'm kind of preventively answering that question by saying this is your this is your alternative 15 bucks not the most stable thing in the world but good for the range good for a 22 good for you know small caliber guns that you're shooting close range I mean you're not gonna shoot 200 300 yards with this thing you're you know even a hundred yards is kind of pushing it because just that little amount of wiggle in that joint that little you know maybe it's a half millimeter or whatever that it wiggles at 100 yards, that's probably a couple inches, so you don't want that. You need good stability if you're going to shoot long range, so if you really need a clamp on bipod, I'm sure there's better ones on the market than this, but for just a fun, fun one, this will do you. So, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try and get some more uh, shooting style videos and shooting equipment videos out over the next week or so, uh, just for a change of scenery, because I've been doing a lot of knife reviews and things like that lately so just need to change it up so i don't get bored and uh i appreciate you guys watching and uh and subscribing